Hi, my name is Terence. We are at the Shigella Training Center, and I'm going to explain to you why we have chosen the welding simulator as part of our basic welding training program. I've got one of my students here today. His name is Philip. Today, we're going to start off with a very basic program for uh, our student here, and we're going to set up the. So we'll go through the situation. I mean, the simulation, and I'll, I'll just show you how to set the whole uh, system up. Okay, we're going to start off first of all by choosing a guest program. Okay, Philip, are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed, right -handed, so we're gonna go right-handed. Okay, we're gonna choose an open practice program for demonstration purposes. Okay, we come now to start the program. Select the difficulty level, because Philip is a learner, so we're gonna choose a beginner program for him. Okay, we're gonna do a shield of metal arc welding. Type of joint we're going to do is a T joint, as you can see there. The position we're going to do uh, a 3F position for him. We're going to choose that. The type of steel that we're going to use, carbon steel. This machine chooses that as well. It gives you a choice between carbon steel, stainless steel, and aluminium. We've chosen the carbon steel. The thickness of the material we're going to go for a 10 millimeter plate today. And the uh, electrode we're going to use is an E6013, which is also easy to use. <clears throat> and uh, the diameter of the electrode, 2.5 millimeter. Obviously, the system doesn't use gas. The process doesn't use gas either. We're going to go for a continuous weld. OK, how many passes are you going to do? We're going to do one pass, because it's on a beginner program. OK, the type of way he's going to weld in it, he's going to weld, weld in a weave pattern. So we're going to put a weave zigzag for him. We're going to choose that. Is he going to do a continuous weld? Yes, he's going to do a continuous weld. We're going to press that. Welding direction, he's going to go uphill. And then we are ready to start. OK, start exercise. Put your helmet on. OK, so now we're going to press the AR. It's augmented reality. So what it does is, is there are cameras situated inside the helmet, which he has to. We're going to press this AR button. Now it's completed. He's ready to weld. As you can see on the screen here, his whole weld is set out for him. OK, Philip, put your PPE on. You ready for the weld? Now the reason why he's putting on gloves that's because to give it to him a, a sense of reality. When he's welding at the workplace, in the workshop, he's going to have to put full PPE on. So this is why we make him dress up completely in, in PPE, so that he can have the sense of having the, uh, the, the, the discomfort of all the PPE on him. So when he gets to the workplace, he, I mean, at the workplace or in the workshop, he won't feel out of uh, or discomfort. Okay, now there are different icons on the screen that's going to tell him what he needs to do. Okay, the first icon I can see, it needs to tell him that he needs to be closer. So he needs to push it in closer. You can see there's a red arrow. He, all right, now it gets to red, the eye is lit up. As you can see now, okay, Philip, now the different icons on the screen will tell him where he needs to correct what he's doing at the moment. The two arrows, blue arrows, on the screen will tell him his speed, if he's keeping up with the correct speed. The red icon, the red circles, will tell him whether his, his work angle or his drag angle is correct or incorrect. So he's corrected it in terms of being in the center of the weld. Now he needs to correct in terms of the direction. Okay? So now it's green. So he needs to go back to where he start, started with his weld, stopped his weld. Start again, go closer. Now, as you can see, all the icons are green. So that means he's, whatever he's doing is correct now. So what he needs to do, he needs to keep his eye on the contacts, on the icons in his helmet. And that will guide him in the direction that he needs to be. Whether he needs to go faster, slower, which direction he needs to put his, his electrode in. The purpose of this is actually for the student to develop muscle memory. 
when he develops his muscle memory, his training time will be reduced. If he can get it right here, he will most probably get it right in the workshop. So time, uh, cost of material, all those things are reduced in terms of his training. From this machine, I can also get a look. We can have a look and see if I press the clean slack button. And if as he look at the weld, it actually gives him what the weld looks like from top to bottom. So he can actually see where his mistakes are. If I press the cancel button, we can view the results. I can press the view the result button. And it'll give him a percentage in time in terms of where he needs to be. It's 81%, which is not bad for a beginner. There are mistakes that he has made, and these mistakes are highlighted over here. Like, for example, his arc length is a bit too long. There's porosity in his weld, spatter. He has, uh, fortunately for him, he has no inclusions in the weld, but the rest of his parameters are quite fine. That's what gave him a pass mark of 81%. You can see his scores in the green there. With a, with, a, with a green tag, so it means he's done okay for this particular exercise. However, when I change the difficulty level on the machine, we must remember now he's at the beginner program. If I go on a more difficult level, the parameters that he, that the icons that are on his screen start to be removed, and that increases the difficulty level on his on his uh, uh, simulated welding. So it will teach you how to weld eventually in the end. It can't replace the reality. We, we, got, we got to be clear about that. It can't replace the reality. However, his learning time and his face time is decreased by at least 40%. And the cost saving, the time savings, also all multiply in, in, in the favor of the student. And uh, he does not only need to do that position, we can go from shielded metal arc welding. I, I just needed to bring in a few other of these uh, processes that, that we need to do. You can see here we've got a TIG machine. Or we've got a TIG setting that we use as well too. Fits into the machine here. I can do TIG welding on plate. I can do TIG welding on pipe as well too in position. I need to be. Takes me up to 6G position. And I can also do sorry, MIG welding. Any position, all positions, all plates, all sizes, all thicknesses. So this is what we use now, and this is, great. This is the future of, of training, welding training. Philip has, has, this is today, today is Philip's first time on this machine, and uh, from where he started about an hour ago to where he is now, it's been quite a challenge and uh, he has uh, improved significantly in the last hour alone. He's gone from a failure to a pass and uh, you've seen it yourself over here that uh, it has definitely uh, enhanced his training and, and made his learning easier and better.